Senator Ted Cruz says this week he plans to introduce a bill that would spend billions of dollars to make schools safer for your children. He says it's going to add resource officers in the schools and provide mental health professionals in Texas and even across the country. CBS 11's political reporter Jack Fink is with us now, and it's an exclusive story you have for us, Jack. Well, Nicole and Doug, Senator Cruz's legislation comes nearly four months after the deadly massacre at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde. But he tells me the bill doesn't have bipartisan support. I think this is a priority, and I think we need to invest in keeping our kids safe. Senator Cruz says his Securing Our Schools Act includes $15 billion to double the number of school resource officers, $10 billion to hire 15,000 mental health professionals for middle and high schools, and another $2.5 billion for physical security improvements on campuses. My focus is on legislation that would actually stop these crimes, and this legislation would do more to keep children safe in Texas and across the country than any legislation that is before the Senate today. Cruz says his measure would be fully paid for by using unspent so funding for COVID-19. In addition, he says $540 million in FEMA security grants would be provided for nonprofits such as Houses of Worship. This follows the hostage situation at the Congregation Beth Israel Synagogue in Colleyville in January. While Cruz intends to bring his measure on the Senate floor this week, he says it may be blocked. I have been informed that a Senate Democrat intends to come and object to the bill, and I look forward to that debate. I called Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer's office this afternoon to confirm that Democrats will block that bill. I haven't heard back just yet. Senator Cruz said he will be the Senate sponsor of a similar bill introduced in the House by a Republican congressman from the Texas Gulf Coast. Nicole? That's